we think about sequels, most people usually think about the iconic and influential films such as, say, Empire Strikes Back, The Godfather Part 2, or Evil Dead 2. But has there been a film that has been so influential, so iconic, such a landmark in pop culture history as the title for the sequel film, Too Fast? Too Furious. Its legacy cannot be denied. It is one of the most memorable, incredible, somehow simultaneously atrocious and stupid and dumb, yet endearingly beautiful and insane and captivating and amazing. The sequel title to The Fast and the Furious, titled Too Fast, Too Furious, is one of the most spectacular titles to any film, not just sequels, but it is the best sequel title to any film in film history. It is so iconic that it is the go-to joke thing. Like if you're hanging out with your buddies and you're all doing some kind of what if for a sequel that never was, someone for a joke title, I guarantee you, even if you've got casual film going friends or you're all a bunch of cinephile film wankers like me, I'm not trying to be rude, I, I, I'm one of those. No matter which group, even if your grandma is pitching sequel titles, one of those old ladies playing bingo, they are going to mention to something, to whatever. It's going to be in there. It's going to be the go-to joke. It's that iconic. I would argue it is more iconic as a title than any sequel ever made. It's just a shame that the film isn't as good as the title. The title is the best part. It's the most interesting part. It's the funnest part. It's somehow the dumbest and the best part. It's, I, I love the title so very much. I wish I loved this movie. I actually like it more than I imagine most people do because this franchise is so insane. I just love this franchise so very much. At this point, it just feels like I'm watching the origins to all these characters, Tyrese, Ludacris, Paul Walker's back or whatever. It just feels like I'm watching origin films and we're all building up to the Avengers film that is Fast Five. And then from then, the universe blasts off MCU style. It's just such a psycho franchise, so I just love it. But it's bad, and the title, Too Fast, Too Furious, deserves better. Somehow, like, the title was so good, it, like, sapped all the energy and goodness that could be in the movie, and it's just in the title. The title is so good, I can't even imagine a film that would live up to the expectations of a title that amazing. So whilst The Empire Strikes Back might be a better film in every single way possible, because it's like one of the best films ever made, and it's so influential in so many different ways, but I would argue as a cultural icon, as a pop culture icon, Too Fast, Too Furious is more important to cinema history. Obviously, if anybody, you know, had any kind of rebuttal, I'd immediately lose that debate. But I stand by this argument! I mean, I don't, but I just think it's a really great title. That's what I'm really trying to, like, cement to, to you all. I just... What a title, right? I mean... Too fast, too furious, it's insane. I love it. I love it so very much. I, I don't think... I, like, I'm trying to express how much I love it, but I don't think it's coming across. I love this title. The franchise has some crazy titles, and most of my reviews, as I go back through the fast, like half of it will be title related, and then I'll briefly discuss the film or whatever. But who cares? There's cars and explosions. You get it. So this film does one of the things that I absolutely adore at the start of a movie. It has the production company logo, and then it has that logo transition in some way into the first clips, the first footage, the live action footage, of the movie. Now, most people would think, hey, no, if you're talking about good transitions from logos to film, you must be talking about Indiana Jones with the Paramount Mountains and it transitions to, to mountains and things like that. And then in the fourth one, it's a, a mound of dirt from some kind of dirt otter or whatever. So most people, when they think of transitions from titles to footage, you think Indiana Jones Shut up, Indiana Jones. Get the hell out of here. I, oh, that. Oh, as I was saying it, my heart like hurt. I'm like, oh, God, I love Indiana Jones. How dare I say that? But I can't help but say it because Too Fast, Too Furious, their transition from the Universal logo, the, the, the Earth or whatever it is. It's the Earth. I know it is. It, it transitions and it goes. And it does a whole thing. And it turns into the rims of the tire. And it's. 
psycho. It's crazy. I don't even know. I, I could not stop laughing. It is one of the most insane, ridiculous, crazy transitions. So Too Fast is a bizarre oddity in the Fast franchise. It's the only film not to feature Dom Toretto. And I know this would literally, like literally kill Vin Diesel if he heard me saying this as a huge fan of the Fast and Furious franchise. But I kind of don't care that he's not in this. I kind of don't miss him. I think Paul Walker's a really great lead and I kind of like just seeing a little side mission with him. I love seeing Tyrese Gibson as Roman and you bloody ludicrous as ludicrous. And it's just, and, and the film itself is, one might say, ludicrous. That's so bad. I I had that like in the, like as soon as I said I knew I was going to say it, I, I just, oh, sometimes you hate when you say something, yet I will not cut any of this. I don't know what that says. I do. Tyrus Gibson's Roman in this film is not the incompetent idiot who is 80% screaming and 20% comic relief. I mean, that comic relief is really, you know, like it, for some people it's comic relief. For other people it's almost intolerable cringe like he's, he's <laughs> every time i watch one of the later films i'm like i love him so much he's the funniest character and then the next time i watch it i'm like i wish he would just die already or at least just stop screaming he barely screams in this film at all and he's competent it's really weird to see him being competent this film has a lot more little elements of like hey this franchise is gonna lose its mind in a couple of movies like it doesn't lose its mind in this movie completely but compared to how raw and kind of gritty and dirty and low stakes the first movie is this does have a couple of elements that really make you go oh no they're they're prepping us i don't even know if they realize they're prepping us but they're prepping us for a psycho franchise one car flying ridiculous lengths smashing into a boat and defeating the bad guy insane the second thing is dexter's dad harry is in this movie as a cop and a bunch of other cops also have this weapon that harry's wielding and it's like this harpoon gun that it hits a car and then it has this like car related emp situation where it turns off the electricity and it's psycho and sci-fi and very james bondy and it almost doesn't work like i feel like if i watched this movie straight after and there were no other eight ten movies or whatever it is I'd be like, that's ridiculous. What is that? But knowing the franchise, I'm like, oh, here are the breadcrumbs of the insanity of this universe. It's madness. I don't understand it at all. I think the highlight is definitely when they're running away from the cops and everyone's got the surveillance and the helicopters and all that. And they go hide in this big garage. And then the garage doors open and a hundred or maybe 200 fast, colorful cars just explode out and just go everywhere. And it's chaos. It's chaos and nonsense. I love it so very much. It is crazy. Like how did they like wrangle all of these people? That's like literally 200 cars just driving about. It's psycho. I don't understand how they organize this. The villain is so vanilla. He's so nothing. He's so uninteresting and boring. I don't care about him for like so much of the film. It's just like, pfft, just so unmemorable. But then suddenly the film is like, what if he has a bucket, puts a rat in the bucket, puts the bucket with the rat on this guy's chest and he's burning it. And she's like, what? That is so visceral and brutal and horrible. And like that always stays in my mind. Like Too Fast, Too Furious is the movie with the bucket and the rat torture scene it's crazy it really doesn't feel like it fits in this movie but it's in this movie it's crazy i feel like i'm just way too hyped for fast x so everything in the fast franchise right now is just like oh, oh! movies i love movies <laughs> i would love to know do people like this movie is this a good movie is this the worst movie i don't i don't i don't know i don't know what do you all think so what makes this title so spectacular, so amazing, so inspired? Is it the fact it replaces the thus with two, but not just one two, which is the correct number of which sequel it is, but it, it gives you two twos. It's not like it's two threes or two fours. It's the beautiful simplicity and duality of the two twos that replace the two th thus. I think, or something. I, I don't know. Maybe I just loved it as a kid. And, uh, you know, it's a nostalgic thing. And just I'm holding on to things that remind me of when I was a child. And I still loved things. And I could feel the feelings with my heart that feel so cold and dead at this time. Or it's because there's two twos. Two twos are sick.